Okay, Mr. Bellion here. We're going to be, um, I change everything here, cancel all this. I'm going to start a new Premiere document. Uh, it's not even called a document, a video recording. So let's see if we can do this. Okay, first off, a um, couple options. Either go to New Project, right there, and I'm going to save mine onto my desktop, which is where I'm demoing right now. Desktop, and what's this here? Let's see, my what's my latest one demo gesture drawing I'm gonna call that there and the file is uh, demo my drawings okay so don't worry about the time code and everything else at the moment and don't worry about any of this okay so the key is you name it and you know where the folder is and one of the big rules with uh, Premiere is that you need to have your images and your files in the same uh, folder so everything has to be like well maintained so I've got a new uh, I'm gonna come here right after new um, I'm gonna go to new sequence this is the key for us okay we're gonna go to sequence presets here now we're gonna go HDV 720 okay press alright and here we are. we have a fresh start and just so you know Windows workspace is based on editing okay this is a little confusing if it's your first time and it's my first time using CC things are a little different for me that's for sure so what we want to do is import our images okay so command I that hopefully that hasn't changed and let's see here command I yep that's the same so we're gonna go we're gonna find our folder for me uh, where all my sketches from daily gesture drawings are here demo gesture drawings import and hopefully yes import the entire project Okay, if I double click here and you will see uh, my drawings okay that's cool so if I had a video I would I would have brought the video clip up here and then and then cut out what I really need but for now since we're only doing um, images and the default setting for images are about five seconds so I'm gonna change this I'm gonna go to Premiere Pro preferences and somewhere here I think timeline um, this is set to uh, five seconds so since we're shooting actually we're exporting at 24 frames per second I want things in fours so still image default durations four seconds okay let's see that so this is the technical stuff let's get out of there for a minute okay so we're gonna go into video one v1 I'm assuming that's what it stands for and then these ones are audio tracks okay so here are my warm-up drawings so I'm just gonna click here and I'm gonna bring this in here like that and at the moment that's my shot I mean, <laughs> that's my sketch and here's my zoom in and out kind of thing uh, if you want to see your frames closer so what I'll do right now is I'll just slide this over for a second and I'm just gonna just come over here till about four seconds of um, and hold my right left arrow you guys know uh, left arrow right arrow and up and down arrow so I'm gonna place this at four seconds and prior to four seconds I want to have a black video screen so I want to start in the dark and then I want to see this image next okay so here if I remember things correctly file new uh, should be around here black video and what it's gonna do it's gonna create this black video it's gonna come down here 128720 fantastic that's 24 frames technically right there and what I'm gonna do is just grab the black frame and I'm gonna drag it over here okay so the first four seconds it's empty and then we can go like that okay so uh, this is my uh, player uh, time handle right here okay so you're in uh, the editing zone here all right so what I'll do I'll just continue and I'll, what I'll do is I'll maybe bring in 10 10 drawings in here and notice that the first drawing has a blue clip here and that blue clip means you've used this file okay so I'm gonna do I'm gonna bring in all my warm-up drawings and there they are and you got to make sure sometimes that you have scale to frame size I just right clicked and I just want it scale to frame size the same the frame size as you know is 128720 okay I'll click away and bring my third one another warm-up drawing okay and you can see well what happened here this is not scaled I'm glad I did that scale to fit haha you little rascal how did that happen I know not so I'll just bring in a few more of these guys here boom and that's another warm-up and I'm just gonna slide to the bottom I think I have some more uh, warm-up uh, drawings here right there another one here and we'll go one more here crank it over there so overall what do I have one two three four five six seven slide this over a bit more or just scale it down the other way Valiant. 
so you can see black for the year 2467, okay? So I'm just going to come up here and I'll just continue with maybe some of the chest cavities, the bean shape, and so on. And I'll just keep this marker over here. That's the next drawing and the one after that. And let's pretend this is our 10. Okay, so you're just dragging images over, and you know that each time you bring a picture in, and that image is good for four seconds. All right, good with me. All right, let's assume I love this, and I'm happy with it. I just want to do a few more because, uh, you know, they do add up. It's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm going to press Enter for this to render a sequence on its own. And it's going to take a few minutes. It's going to go from here at the beginning all the way to the end. And you're seeing it's a four-second. Um, each frame is about four seconds. Okay, and I started with black video, and it's going across. It's Now it's in the cache. I have all this in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually export this afterwards. Actually, you know what? I'll go to a black screen again at the end, and I'll even add a, a title. Um, Okay, it's going to go right to the end, so you press enter the first time and wait for it to go. That's it, it's going to the end. Okay, let's assume this is all done and we're just going to wait over here and I'm going to bring a black video just like the one before and it's way down here at the bottom of our library. Okay, so do you see that black video right there? Sweet, this is going to stop and there it goes. So I'll end it in a black video. However, at this time, if we export this video, okay, I have no idea whose video is, whose video this is. So that one of the options is to go into Photoshop and um, and make a title or file new. There's always this titling uh, app here. Where is it? New, 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 new. Legacy title. Okay, this is what I remember. Okay, file new, title right here. Or you can go to Photoshop file, right? Legacy title, and yes, we want it to be 1287.20. Press OK and then come in here pick a font that you like okay I'm not going to do anything uh, too decorative let's just say that and then I'll just say um, let's pick one that I like well that's going to take time isn't it okay let's take this one okay so I'm going to click in here once and that's the font that I've chosen this is uh, Alexi Ballion And double click it here and look up there. The size is 100. Let's make this 50. I don't know, something like that. Okay, you get the arrow button over here. Move it anywhere you want and stay within the safe frame, the inside one. And if I hold Option here, I can duplicate just like any other Adobe program. And I'm going to double click in here and I'm going to say my warm up drawings. Okay, that's what I'll do. I'll just type in my warm up drawings. Okay, that's done, and I'll get my arrow, and I'll select these two, maybe press center. Center, really? No good? Perhaps not. My warm-up drawings. Okay, so there's that, and I want this to go at the end here, okay, and the beginning. So watch this. It's going to go on, on V2. So, oops, okay, so that's what it would look like anyway. So down here, now this is weird, right? You're not going to be able to save it like as in save file. It automatically saves for you. That's what I recall. I'm going to slide it over there. So you can see here, as soon as it goes like that, boom. I'm double clicking here. I'm going to bring that in just a touch. Okay, there, like that. And then what I'll do is I'll come to the beginning and I'll bring it again right here. Crank it like that. And it's coming in for four seconds. So that's kind of cool, eh? So at this point, I could press enter, uh, return again, and uh, and then you close this. There's no saving. It automatically goes in there. So I've done my work, and uh, you should be command M export. Let's see. Yeah, command M is there. Yeah, but let's see here. Do I need to render again? No, nope. media. Let's go over here, and let's see what the settings say here. Okay, H.264 is what I want. Good. And match. Let's see, it's 1280 by 1280. Both are output and source is 1280. That's what I want. And then you name it and you go, um, Ballion, and your name obviously, gesture drawings. Okay? And as long as we keep 
the file format um, at 128720, 20, 24 frames. This shouldn't take long to render. I'm not going to pause. It should, it should, and then you have to press export here, okay? So I named it. Don't touch anything here. It's weird. Sometimes um, match source is the best thing. So it matches the source, which is 128720, and then export. Sorry, there's a lot of steps here, but this is not going to take that long. You just have to watch it a few times, take some notes. You're good to go, okay? And then uh, your video is going to go right down here somewhere, and it'll save it. I swear, that's how it used to be. Where I go? Hmm, I know not. So let's just see our folder here, and then the folder that I made was my uh, gesture files. Where is it? Oh yeah, demo gesture drawings, right here. Oh yeah, there it is. Somehow I didn't see it. Okay, if I press play. Warm up my warm up drawings and I can scrub through and here we go okay so that's what I want from all of you guys by the end of the week there's the file that's what you submit as part of your um, in my inbox which is students for students inbox okay I think that's good enough for now 11 minutes not bad stop recording bellying out <laughs>